Dr. Heck, in the audience, thank you very much. Uh, distinguished faculty and guests. Um, I know you guys are here to see the people actually graduating today, so I promise you I'll keep it short. <laughs> there's, there's an old saying, and it says, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plan. <laughs> My goal is to help others, regardless whether they're the military or civilian. And I came about that, that goal seeing my mother. My mother, she, she was a, a single mother and I was the only child. And I watched her go to school while working two jobs. And obviously that's impressive. But what I found more impressive was the support that she received, not just from family, but from friends. The sacrifices they made to help her reach her goal, giving no second thought to themselves, not seeking reward for themselves. And I thought, you know what? That's what I want to do in life. I want to help others. How I do that is by being the Deputy Chief of Behavioral Health at Fort Campbell. I treat and supervise those who have different issues with anxiety and depression. With that, I know that you have 150 service members, I believe, enrolled in Cal Southern. And to me, that's impressive to see someone who wants to further their life via education, via experience, to better themselves. Acquisition of education knowledge. It's, it's not for bragging rights. It's what are you going to do with that? And if you're just going to acquire education and knowledge and go on Jeopardy, more power to you. <laughs> but if you actually want to make a difference in the world, that's the challenge. How can you apply those things to make the world a better place? Well, hopefully NASA can see that in me and hopefully if I pass their evaluations and, and physicals, then I can go into space and be a space therapist. Now, what does that entail? <laughs> I mean, okay, you pilot the space shuttle, check. I'm not doing that, I'm not a pilot. Any pilots in the audience? Okay, well, I'm not flying a space shuttle. But I can imagine once you leave the, the comfort of Earth, leave your family members behind, uh, you, you get anxious, you, would, you, get, you get nervous, you get depressed. But hopefully, I'll be there beside them to say, well, how does that make you feel? <laughs> but, but truly, I've, I've had so many careers within the military. I was a shock trauma officer doing ground evacs in in East Baghdad in Sadr City. Now, to the civilian populace, it sounds like a, a Tuesday. But for, for me, uh, I, I enjoyed being of service to others in, in foreign countries. Once I finished that, I thought, you know what? I have some computer skills. I think I, I enjoy working on computers. I might try that out. So I was the, the CIO, the Chief Information Officer for the hospital at Fort Stewart. And one of my one of my things, I needed to help the hospital save money while maintaining their technology budget. So I created this elaborate presentation about how I was going to save the hospital $30 million over the course of seven years. I got to the boardroom and um, gave my presentation. It's going, it's going well. I mean, I, I want to wear a Superman cape. That's how well it's going. And <laughs> at the end of the conver conversation, at, at the end of the presentation, all the board members said, thank you for your presentation, but you know what, we're going to continue what we're doing. And I was puzzled, but of course y'all ranked me, so I said, Roger, sir, salute the flag and carry on. But at the end of that presentation, I, I went to my boss and I said, boss, what did I do wrong? What was wrong with my presentation? And I'll never forget it. And those words brought me to Cal Southern. He said, at the time, Captain, your first name doesn't begin with doctor. I 
I said, Roger, sir. Enrolled the next day. <laughs> So once again, it goes back to my point, acquisition of education, experience, and knowledge. What are you going to do to make the world a better place? And I see rows of people in caps and gowns, obviously. You won't aspire to do that. But I challenge you to be where I'm at four, five, eight years. Doesn't matter. I want you up here. Tell me how you made the world a better place. Thank you.